Hi guys, you're watching Peacenator TV. In this episode, I want to talk about how, how I've changed in the past three years. But before I do that, I want to show off a clip of me feeding the chickens. I do this like every right. day. Good luck today. <laughs> chickens you saw live in coops, but now there's only one set of chickens that caged up. The others, they're free range. Yeah. Anyway, so moving on here. Um, I've changed a lot in the past three years. Um, three years ago, I was a senior in high school. I was still in high school, and I, I pretty much dealt with a lot of drama and all that crap. I, people spread rumors about me and all that. And that August, I had started what would have, what ended up being that Easter show. At that time, it was just going to be a one video thing, uh, like, I didn't really have any plans to do any more videos, but that kind of changed. Anyway, that video, I had pointed out, like, that all those rumors were not true, and I also 
I also said that if anyone believed it, that they should just go to hell. And that, yeah. And I also talked more about the rumors in the second video. But, yeah, the first video was kind of, I was mainly talking about, like, just about myself in general. But, see, now, I don't, I don't really care. If, I mean, if someone wants to spread a rumor about me, um, well, I pity you. I mean, I kind of, I mean, your life must be pretty bad. That's just, that's just low. I mean, no, I, I wouldn't, I don't really, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't wish anyone to go to hell now. I mean, no. I mean, I don't, but nowadays I don't tell people to go to hell. Uh, I mean, I don't care, I don't really care quite as much as, much as I used to about what other, others think of me. I mean, I do care a little bit. Ma mainly with women more than anything else, like, especially if I, especially if I like a girl, I, yeah, I'll care, I kind of do care about what they think about me, I mean, I mean, if I liked a girl, I would, I'd want her to actually think of, think of me as a cool guy, not think of me as some creep, I mean, I don't like that, but, aside from that, I, I'm more chill than, I'm more, I'm more chill than, I mean, I'm more relaxed now than I used to be as far as caring what other people think. I mean, especially with dudes, I don't really care what they think of me. I mean, if they think, if they think I'm cool, cool. They don't. I mean, if they if they don't if they don't like me or whatever, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. Um. Anyway. What else? Um. I. One thing I do, I still do. However, is I do check my. I do check, every now and then I do check to see if someone has unfriended me. I mean, of course, I mean, if it's someone I've been close, I, I consider myself close to, and that person kicked me out of their lives, I'm going to be like, what the heck? I mean, I will, if it's someone I've known or something or whatever, or I thought of, my, thought of as a good friend, I'm going to... I'm gonna. I'm probably. I'm probably gonna message that person and ask them, why do you unfriend me, or whatever. But if it's like a stranger, you know, someone that I rarely talk to, they're like, hmm. yeah, whatever. They're lost. <laughs> I mean, I do. I do have a lot of Facebook friends. Like, what's my check? Three thousand. 456, I think it's 6, yeah, or 58, I'm not sure, but I have, I have, I think I have matured a little bit, at least a little bit, since 2010, since high school, really, I used to complain, I used to complain a lot more about things, like, back in, Around Christmas 2011, a guy I knew in high school named Austin. Uh, you know, we were pr we were fairly good friends in high school. Uh, he he had unfriended me, you know, that day around that time. And I asked him why, and he was like, "Because your your status is always your status is always depressing or something." Because I can. That December, I complained constantly about um, my little sisters, um, the fact that there was no winter weather, or it was just rainy, as opposed to the one be December before, which was perfect. 
but you know, whatever. I did compl I did constantly post statuses about that, and you know, I've kind of held back on held back a bit on these, you know, these kind of explaining statuses this year. Like, I mean, okay, yeah, last week I did say. Last, la okay, okay, last week it was like above 80 degrees, which is unusual for October, and I, I, I said, nothing says October like 80 degree weather. Well, whatever, that was pretty much it. I didn't constantly complain about it, but I kind of, I try to have a more positive outlook on life now, and I try to, I try to hold back on the sibling statuses. I mean, sometimes I do post statuses about my sisters driving me crazy, but I don't do it as much as I used to. Anyway, so moving on here. I, instead of saying that, all right, this day's gonna suck. No. I've posted quite a lot of statuses actually lately saying today's gonna be awesome, or, you know, today was awesome, or it's been a good day, or, you know. <laughs> One thing I did, um, in high school, another, another, back in, okay, Towards the end of my senior year, there's this girl that I've had an on and off friendship with, and at one point I lost my cool and called her the B word. Called her an immature, yeah. But to be honest, I wasn't exactly mature myself. I was, even, I was acting like middle school kid or something. When I when I called her when I called her the B word, she I mean, things got pretty bad. You know, she first she sent first she cussed me out and all that. Um and all you know, and then her best friend also cussed me out and you know the next day of school just really sucked. And, you know, I was acting like a kid, and I was 19, almost 20, and I'm cussing out a, I was cussing out a girl that was like three years younger than me, over three years younger than me, see, she was around 16, so, after that, I pretty much vowed to never call a girl bitch again, in fact, Generally, I don't really, I try not to cuss a lot, period. I mean, I never cuss on Facebook anymore. Um, I, I try to keep it clean as possible. I try to think about what would happen if I did something stupid. Like, I mean, I try, I try to avoid drama now. I mean, I try to not get in arguments. I try to keep it cool. Um, there, there's this website. It was this website called Formspring, which I haven't used in a very long time. But it was where anonymous pe people can ask you questions like anonymously. It's a lot like, it's almost exactly like website now called Ask FM. Of course it might have been might be the same one. I'm not sure but I don't know. Anyway, but people used to I used to I used to get quite a few in insults saying that I was a creep and all that by anonymous people. And I, I got I flipped out. I mean I cussed them out. I'm, and looking back, I'm like, dude, I mean, person, that person didn't have the balls to actually say it to my face, so who cares, you know? So, anyway, 
I don't let those things get to me anymore. I think that's, anyway, I think that's about it. Anyway, I will, anyway, I think that's, that's it for this episode. Um, I will see you guys next time.